This new AI plugin for Premiere Pro called AutoPod is absolutely insane. I've been using it for the past couple of weeks for my work to edit interviews and YouTube videos and things of that nature. And it has made my workflow so much faster. I feel like this thing could actually take my job, but we're gonna talk about whether that's actually a real possibility, some of the pros and cons of this new software, and if you should consider getting it for your work as a video editor. This AutoPod software has three features to it. There's the jump cut editor, the social clip editor, and the multicam editor. And we're going to go through all three plugins kind of in the order that I've been using them and their level of usefulness in my opinion. So I want to start on the multicam editor. So we're going to use an interview that I edited a while ago as a bit of an example here. So we're going to start by bringing up our multicam editor. Let's go to window extensions and click on the auto pod multi camera editor. And this brings up this window where we can enter some details about our sequence. Now, when you're using this, you want to lay your sequence out so you have every single video track all on video one, video two, video three, and then you want your audio tracks to be below that. Then we're going to select our cutting method. So I like using enable and disable, which keeps all of the cuts there, but just enables or disables the track that's visible. And then we're going to choose how often we want to cut back to our multi shot because we do have this two shot here. And let's say we want to go back a medium amount of time and then we need to pick how many speakers we have and how many cameras we have. So we have three cameras, one on each person here and then the two shot and we have two speakers for the two people. So for the speaker names, we're just going to call the man on the left here left and the man on the right here right, for example. So the so speaker on A1 is left and you can hear if I just play that track. Turned uh, uh, in interior BC. And then the speaker on A2 is going to be right, which you can hear right here. The myth, the legend, and such a most successful. But... And after that, we're going to go down and tag all of our video tracks. So V3 is going to be all speakers. V2 is our right speaker. And V1 is our left speaker, as you can see here. And if I take proxies off, you can see that this looks a lot different. We'll throw proxies back on. And now you just click create multicam edit and this thing is about to perform some absolute magic. Let's actually time this. And we've started cutting and the timer is going. So let's see how long it takes Autopod to edit this entire multicam sequence. And is that it? Are we done? Yeah, and we're done. I stopped it a little bit late but you can see that here we're at two minutes basically on the dot, two minutes and one second. And Autopod has cut a 33 minute multicam sequence with three speakers as a rough cut in two minutes. It's an unbelievable tool. And obviously the big benefit to this is if you're editing interviews, this is your rough cut. Now you just have to go through and eliminate the parts that you don't want and cut it down to size, but you can just grab the good clips of audio that you want, put them in order, and the cameras are already cut for you. You don't need to worry about that. So let's actually give this a listen and see how it did. Move on kind of thing. So all of these things play into the heritage and into the, the, to the experiences of, of previous generations. So you had to adapt based off of your sensibilities to be able to succeed in the corporate structure but you've also done real work. So you can see that it's pretty smart. The plugin was actually really good about cutting to the person who's talking, but also cutting back to the other person to get their reaction. And you can see that they've also, when it made sense to, cut back to this wide shot right here. So that makes a lot of sense and it's helpful. It just kind of is intuitive like that. One of the big issues that I have with it, and it's probably the first thing you noticed, is that this thing, at least for what I've seen, doesn't also cut your audio, it just cuts your video. So like when we had our interviewer here on the right speaking, also the audio like this is really echoey because you're hearing him in his own lab and in the boom. Whereas if I were actually editing this myself, I would mute this part right here and we would have it like this. But you've also done real work to adapt the corporate structure. Which sounds actually good and usable. So you do need to go through and actually enable and disable the audio tracks. Maybe if I left this link, it would have worked. You know what, actually, let's try that. All right, so I've now got the audio and video for the solo shots of both the interviewer and the interviewee linked, and we're gonna run Autopod on this again and see if it makes a difference for us. 
All right, so even if you link the audio with the video for the corresponding speaker, you still don't actually get each track enabled or disabled. You can see here that when we made our initial autopod edit with the video and audio all unlinked, we didn't even get cuts in the audio, but when we actually made our autopod edit with the audio linked to the video of each person, then it at least gave us cuts, which is nice, but you still need to go enable and disable all the audio tracks to make sense so you don't have like random background noise or an echo effect happening if you use a boom and a lav, which is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world considering what a heavy lift this program is taking off of you for this type of work. I've also found that my computer was running a little bit slow sometimes when I had this plugin installed and was cutting. It would buffer a little bit as I was dragging an audio clip longer or shorter when I really shouldn't be experiencing that, but it was nothing like too bad that would like actually be a real hindrance and stop me from using the plugin. But I think the most annoying thing about this, and this is like all prefacing that this plugin is still absolutely amazing, is that it doesn't work with the multicam editor. So when you're going through and playing back your sequence, you can't actually see all of your cameras at the same time. And when you're using the multicam editor and you can see I set up a multicam shot right here, it's really easy to see every single camera at the same time and then just cut between them as you see fit and you get all these cuts right away and you can see all your cameras right away. So you don't need to guess if someone's reacting well to a question that another person is asking. You can just see what their reaction is and decide if you want to include it in your edit. So if the thing worked with the multicam editor, I would give it like a 10 out of 10. Because of that, I can't say it's like a perfect plugin, but it's still amazing. Like this, this multicam editor is definitely like an eight out of 10 and a super useful, huge tool for anyone editing interviews. All right, so the next plugin that comes with Autopod is the Jump Cut Editor. This is their most simple and straightforward plugin. It just cuts out silence in a single video clip. So if I'm making a YouTube video and I just wanna cut everything together to be concise and get rid of all the times where I'm sitting there and thinking and planning what to say next, this does it for me. So you just pick your silence decibel cutoff, which is the decibel level below which you're going to create a cut and get rid of that part of the video. And then you just hit create jump cuts with the sequence that you have selected. So I've pulled my talking headshot for the most recent office tour YouTube video I did here. And we're just gonna click create jump cuts and uh, let's see how long this takes us. And done. So that was 22 seconds in Autopod Jump Cut Editor cut a 24 and a half minute talking head clip down to like 18 minutes, getting rid of all the silences. So when I'm making YouTube videos, this is like a great way to just start me off. Now let's actually listen to what it did here um, easier. All right, so here we go. I've, hmm, hmm. <laughs> One of the things I've struggled with the most as a creative person or someone who does creator things for a living is creating a workspace around me that's conducive to what I do. It helps me feel inspired to sit down at my desk and actually do stuff every day. It's kind of an iterative process for me. So it did a pretty good job just cutting all the silences out. That gives me a really good like rough cut to start with for a YouTube video. And like, it's so simple and straightforward. I don't have anything bad to say about it. That's just useful and good. Now let's talk about our last one. And the last thing we have is the social clip creator. So this is supposed to crop your sequence to whatever aspect ratio we want. It can do an auto reframe. It can add a watermark or an end page and make social clips from your horizontal content really easily. So for this segment, I just grabbed a random one minute of dialogue from this interview, since social clips are usually gonna be a minute or less. And I wanted to make sure I picked an area where we're cutting back and forth between a lot of cameras so that we can test the reframing capabilities of this plugin. And we're just gonna let it go. I've already played with this a couple times and think I know how this is gonna go, but I wanna show it to you in real time. So let's say we wanna cut this for a vertical, nine by 16. We want the auto reframe and we don't have a watermark or an end page, so we're just not gonna do that. And let's just click create clips and see how it does. Hmm. All right, so let's see this. That moment is tiered though, because someone who has returned, not for TV and Grey Cup, but there's the moment of euphoria when you, <laughs> what were those two moments like for you, those dueling emotions? It cut everything, it reframed it well. This is an issue. I think it's because I have scale to frame size enabled on this clip. If I get rid of that, it goes back to regular, but it's not framed properly. So I actually want to redo that test. So I've turned off scale to frame size on this clip right here. So that shouldn't be an issue anymore when we crop it 
where we get that tiny little box instead of actually filling the entire screen. Now we're gonna run the social clip creator again and see if this actually does a good job of creating us a vertical social clip from this minute of dialogue. And let's see how we did. That moment is tiered though, because someone who has returned, not for teething the Grey Cup, but there's the... <laughs> what were those two moments like for you, those dueling emotions? I turned around, I dove into the end zone. Uh, I got up and looked around. There were flags all over the place. I was completely conflicted. Hmm. So pretty good. You can see here, it's kind of like keyframed this move in, which is a little weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Overall, it did a pretty good job. Like it's got everyone framed up well and just cropped everything and made it easy for me. Now there was one or two times where I used this plugin and it actually focused on the person in the multicam shot who wasn't speaking and then the speaker just wasn't visible and we were looking at the person in the two shot who like wasn't talking the entire time, which was weird, but it only happened to me once, worth noting, but not a regular occurrence, obviously. If you're editing really simple social content from a podcast, I think that this is sweet, like it just makes it easy. It's obviously not like hands off, all done type of thing. Like after you do this, you still have to go through and add captions, which isn't an option in here. You have to use Premiere's caption editor and their auto transcribe now for captions is actually awesome and something I've been using a lot recently. So if you wanna see a video on all the new features in Premiere's captioning, including what's going on in Premiere beta at the time of this video being recorded, let me know and I can make a video about that too. But this has worked pretty well if you just like throw some captions over this, you could easily export it as a social clip and put it on Instagram Reels, like no problem. So I'm pretty happy with that as well. I'd say this is also kind of like an eight out of 10 type of thing. But I'm impressed by how well all these plugins work together that you can jump cut a YouTube video or edit a multicam sequence really quickly with the jump cut and the multicam editors, then take that cut, bring it into a new sequence and use the social clip creator to quickly crop it for Reels, even if you shot it vertically and send it off to social media. This plugin, in my opinion, for what I do is really worth it. It's $30 US a month, and I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this video wasn't sponsored or anything. If you're someone who edits a lot of interviews, if you have a podcast, if you're just spending a lot of time editing people talking like I am, then this is so worth it and it can probably save you hundreds of dollars of outsourcing videos to editors or hours of your own time for not a significant cost every month considering the value of professional work. If you're a hobbyist, I think it's a bit more of a consideration whether or not you need this, especially if you're learning and wanna do things yourself to become a more proficient editor, but that's more of a case by case thing. Overall, this is just a new useful tool that you should be aware of in case it's something that is gonna benefit you it certainly benefits me. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this on a regular basis. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this Autopod AI plugin for Premiere. And if you see any more cool plugins like this coming up that utilize AI, let me know because I wanna try to improve my workflow and test these things out to see if they're actually worth it and would love to do that on the channel publicly for all of us. Anywho, that's gonna be all for this video. So until next time, peace.